Stan Koo. Three hundred horsepower. That's a lot for that car, for that engine. Uh, two uh, thousand six total restoration. One owner. Original title. Twenty eight thousand original miles. Twenty eight thousand original miles on this seventy Mustang. I like it. I like it a lot. What did they ask? Thirty nine five. Thirty nine five for this one. 39.5 honeycomb and this door looks misaligned because it's flush almost here and it's sticking out there okay it's not it's not it's a little tight in here but it's not I, I, the door wasn't closed minor dent right there again low mileage on the car. You can overlook those little dents. They actually create character, in my opinion, on the car. Interesting pipes. I don't think those are stock, but I could be wrong. Looks like an original gas cap. And there's the honeycomb I was talking about. It's in the details, guys. It's in the details. Memories, something we shared together. Nothing more than memories of the way you were. All right, sorry for the zooming again. I get excited when I look at these cars, as you know. What is your name? Adam. Adam. And what is your job? Adam's new over here at the Classic Auto Mall. What do you do? Uh, I actually help check in the cars, help decode the VIN numbers and the different options that the cars have to see uh, how authentic they are. He's like a private detective, but for cars, making sure he's got the background right over here at the mall. So I think he's got a pretty cool job. Now I asked him a question. I put him on the spot. <laughs> and I'm doing it again on video, which he probably regrets. But I said, and I'm, I'm wondering if you guys know, I've actually forgotten the answer. So we're gonna look at his book, which is very cool. You'll see it in a second. What makes a 1971 to 73 Ford Mustang Mach 1 unique in the VIN code that it's a Mach 1? Because there's fastbacks and then there's Mach 1s. And Ford um, did something in the VIN number to do it. Do you know the answer? Tick tock, tick tock. All right, let's look at the book. So what is this book? You bought this, when did you buy this book? I bought it when I bought my first convertible. It was a 73 Mustang convertible. Nice, what color? Uh, yellow. What's the interior? Black. Ah, pretty showy. Comfort that's that's yeah. kind of showy was the yellow one. Yeah. Yep, and it had the Mach 1 stripes on it and stuff like that, nice. even though they you know, didn't really have a Did it, Mach 1. But they, group. Ford put it on there, right? Or did somebody add it? Uh, I'm not 100% sure no. if, if they had them on there to deal with it or not, but, but it was a neat car, and I restored that car. That was my first convertible I ever restored, and I've been buying convertibles ever since. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. When it, well, I liked, I used to like it when the wind blew through my hair, but that doesn't happen anymore <laughs> for me. It obviously happens for you. So this book you bought, what year? Uh, 2001. And you've got a receipt still? What, what did you show me? got a receipt from he's, Barnes & Noble. He's got a Barnes & Noble receipt still. April 2001. Now there you go. There's a, there's a receipt.